my name is Kathy Martin and I'm the creator of PreAlgebraTeachers.com. I believe that all middle school math teachers should be able to stress less, engage their students, and still have a life outside the classroom. Are you teaching summer school? I wanted to share with you today three tips to make summer school successful. If you are interested in more, um, more tips, more resources, click on the link in the comments. I'm actually gonna go ahead and add the link right here. So go ahead and click on the link in the comments so that you can get more resources before we dive in. So summer school is amazing and I have taught summer school personally and it was a great experience because I was able to meet so many other kids um, in our local district that I don't normally you know get to have in my class and it was really amazing to be able to build those relationships but summer school can be really tricky because your time is shortened you know you have to get a full years of material into a super condensed time period you might be teaching students who have failed the class so you're in you're in credit recovery mode um, and you might have kids who just don't want to be there because it's summer and they are thinking about going to the beach or having fun with friends or going to the movies or sleeping or anything besides being in your class. So here are two, three tips to make summer school a success. Tip number one, before you even start, um, make sure just like in the regular school year, you have you start off on the right foot and you make sure that your classroom management skills are on point. Summer school tends to be longer days, at least in my experience, you're with the kids for a lot longer of a time period in terms of hours in the day. But obviously, you know, you don't have the entire school year, but you're with them a long time during the day. So you wanna make sure you set up those rules you set up the consequences, you follow through, and you, you as the teacher know the rules of summer school. I know when I taught summer school, students were not allowed to be late. They were only allowed to be late once for like 15 minutes. And anything beyond that 16th minute, they were kicked out of summer school. So you have to know the rules of whatever summer school you're teaching at, but make sure you set the rules in your classroom from day one so that the limited time that you have is productive and in, you know your students are engaged. So tip number two, teach only what is necessary. So depending on what you are teaching, what subject matter, what grade level, you have to decide what is absolutely necessary. So when I taught summer school to my middle school level students, I decided, okay, in our time together, my students need to know integers, one-step equations, and simplifying, um, you know, simplifying algebraically. So those were kind of my top three things. Integers, one-step equations, and simplifying algebraic expressions. So those were the three things that I wanted to tackle while I was in summer school, given that I only had like two and a half weeks with these kids and I made it those those three concepts a priority if I could get all the other things in there that would be great but my top three things were integers one step equations and simplifying algebraic expressions which leads me into tip number three which is to change up your resources you know sometimes in the school year we can kind of get in a rut of like okay teach and then maybe do some book work, right? So summer is the time for you to really kind of explore different options, explore different games that you can play to make things engaging. Because if you have kids for, a, for several hours during the day, they're gonna get so bored of just book work. So can you incorporate different activities like games, individual games, classroom games, partner games? Can you incorporate more engaging activities like coloring or I know I like to incorporate like mazes and task cards. Uh, you know, what are some things that you can do to engage your students so that you want them, so they want to come back? You know, they they have to give up their summer 
and you are giving up your summer, so you might as well enjoy it and they might as well have some fun with you. If you would like to grab some additional resources for just the summer, if you are interested in joining the prealgebrateachers.com membership for the summer, use the link below in the comments to sign up for a special three month summer promotion that we have going on. So I hope you enjoyed my three tips to make summer school successful. Again, my name is Kathy Martin and I'm the creator of prealgebrateachers.com. I help middle school math teachers stress less and engage more students. Use the link below for more resources and more tips. See you soon, bye.